The ladies move into the cheap motel known as the Dusty Spur, which happens to be the name of the fourth episode. They have five weeks before they start shooting episodes, and it's an idea that it's easier to train them if they're always all together, sort of like an Olympic village. With each woman pairing up, we see some newfound friendships and how they interact with each other, like Sheila and Ruth. Sheila is a bit of an outsider from everyone. Her character of being a she-wolf isn't a character. She actually feels like she's a wolf. This isn't a gimmick or persona. This is her. Back at the training warehouse, unfortunately for Carmen, her father, Goliath Jackson, isn't pleased with her when he finds out what she's doing. So he shows up with her two brothers, who may look familiar. That's right, it's Brodus Clay and Carlito. The wrestling Goliath doesn't want his daughter in the business and tells her that no one respects women wrestling, and that it's just a sideshow similar to the midgets. Carmen winds up sticking up for herself, telling him that she's 25 years old and can make decisions on her own, and says he can either be supportive or she'll leave, just like Mom did. Meanwhile, Tammy has concerns about her welfare queen gimmick. Sylvia tells her that the gimmick is a commentary on social stereotypes, and that's why it's genius. She's really concerned that other people won't see it that way, but Sylvia tells her fuck what other people think and that she needs to take this chance, after playing it safe in all these other previous roles. He gives Tammy a stack of exploitation films that he's directed, hoping that they can inspire her. At the end of the episode, the girls get together and watch one of them, but they catch something they didn't expect to see. Spliced in his movie, there seems to be an old video dating profile for Sam, which gives insight to his personality that none of us have seen, and that despite this weirdly misogynistic, eccentric prick of a director, he's a good guy. I really enjoyed this episode, and the windows into the lives the characters that they focused on.